My name is Joe Ripperger. I'm an associate professor of political science at the University of Oklahoma. Um, I'm also the deputy director for research and an associate director here at the Institute for Public Policy Research and Analysis. So my name is Mackenzie Kojak and I am a research scientist here at the OU Institute for Public Policy Research and Analysis. Um, and I also work for OU Ciro and the NOAA Storm Prediction Center. You know, we work really closely like with the National Weather Service and NOAA, um, but our interest as social and behavioral scientists is trying to figure out what happens next? What happens when we have those better forecasts? Um, because it's people, not machines, that make decisions. Um, a lot of times in meteorology programs, we are taught how to forecast, how to read models, how to you know, do the calculus behind the equations. Uh, but we're not often taught about how to communicate that information in an effective way. Yeah, so we are, we are concerned about whether or not people are confused. There definitely seems to be variation in how well people understand the kinds of information that we're providing. Um, for some populations, comprehension is really high. You know, people know exactly what it means um, when they see that there's a tornado watch or when they see that there's a tornado warning. For other more vulnerable populations, sometimes they don't know what that means. For example, you know, the word tornado or the word hail may not exist in Spanish in ways that uh, different dialects understand. And for those kinds of populations, it's really important that we tell them not just that there's a tornado warning, but what does a tornado look like for them? How might it impact them? And then even more importantly, what, they, what can they do to protect themselves if they're ever in a situation where there is a tornado warning? Um, and so all of that previous experience um, and where you live and uh, those types of characteristics really impact how people understand forecasts. So most of the information that we use for the research comes from public surveys that we do. So we have something called the Extreme Weather and Society Survey Series here at the Institute for Public Policy Research and Analysis. So we do these year, the yearly surveys and then we um, take the data that we collect as part of these yearly surveys and we uh, upload that into something that we call the Severe Weather and Society Dashboard or WX Dashboard for short. And that's a, an interactive platform that forecasters, emergency managers, broadcast meteorologists, lots of folks in the weather enterprise are using to better understand the populations that they serve and then really refine some of their risk communication strategies. Social media is a, plays a big role in a lot of the work we do. Um, and so we collect a lot of social media data and we're starting to understand how social media is influencing the way people get weather information. And what we're imagining is a future where forecasters can take and provide that information um, in all sorts of ways so that we as members of the public know as much as they do then we can help um, develop our plans for the day, kind of around those sorts of events, rather than you know just in the last 15 minutes kind of having to make a decision, do we go to our shelter or not go to our shelter?